Hi guys, welcome to Salesforce Troop. In this video, we're going to talk about Salesforce Code Builder. So finally, Salesforce has released the beta version of Salesforce Code Builder, which is a web-based integrated development environment. Till now, we were using the Visual Studio Code locally on our machine to perform our all development-related tasks specific to Salesforce. Now the same thing Salesforce has bring up onto the cloud and that's called Salesforce Code Builder. So exactly most of the stuff that you were doing on the local machine on Visual Studio Code, that those stuff now you can do on the cloud. So in this video, we're going to learn how to set up the code builder on our Salesforce org, how to give permissions and how to use code builder and their limitation. So let's go and see how to set up the code builder. So we can install the code builder manage package from the app exchange. Once you go to app exchange, there will be a button. Get it now. So I assume most of you people know what is app exchange. So let's go and see quickly on app exchange how to look for this app. So on Google, if you type app exchange salesforce.com, you will end up on this website. Here you can search for your app name. So I already searched for code builder and here you'll get an button get it now but you will only able to install if you have logged into the your your account so make sure you log in and click on get it now once you click on get it now it will ask you a couple of questions regarding whether you want to install this app as an admin for all user and all the stuff and the screen will look like something similar in my case i have used install for admins only i check the checkbox click on installed once it start install once you click on install it will show you this message whether you want to grant access to the third party website select the checkbox click on continue and after that you will see a message your app is installing and it will take around two three minutes once it gets installed you will redirect to your org once you redirect to your org to make sure you have your app installed you will not land up on this page that i'm showing on the screen because i already set up this one that's why i'm on this app but to make sure whether it has been installed or not, you can go to setup. And under the packages, you can search whether that name is available or not. So I'll type packages in quick find. And here I'll click on install packages. Under the install packages, if you see the code builder beta name, it means your app is installed. And at the same time, you can go for an app launcher and search for code builder. And you can see that app is available. Click on code builder beta. And now you will land up on dashboard here. There is a button called get started. Let's click on that button get started. It's asking do you want to use a existing project? If yes, then you have to import that project from GitHub. So here you know now you can integrate with GitHub. And if you want to start a complete new project, you can click on new project. So let me click on new project. I'll give the project name Salesforce Troop. I'll say project type. I'll go with the standard structure. It's similar uh, types of question that you'll get on your local machine when you set up your DX project for the first time, whether you want to create a project standard, empty analytics. I st uh, select the standard one and let's next. Now it's asking whether you want to connect to a sandbox org or a development org. So I'll say connect a development org. And it will end up here. So let's connect to your correct details. It's saying give us a, an access. So we allow the access now. Now you are back to your org. Now you see this message org successfully connected. Whether you want to disconnect, you can click on this. So hit next. Now it's asking give the org alias. That's our dev hub org name so let's give this group i'm giving to you can give any name now it's creating a new 
environment you can see it start creating the environment and once it's our environment is ready we'll see an option to launch that environment it may take time depend on your machine networks and manufacturers so let's wait till then so till the time it's creating an environment the important point that i miss is about permissions so we have to give some permission to the users as well and for that what we can do is we'll go to our setup again and let's give the read out first how to assign the permission because as an admin you have to give permission to the users and it's a good practice to make sure the right permission has been given to the right user so from setup we will look for permission sets and once we'll go to the code builder we click on manage assignment we'll give the assignment to the right user and hit save so let's go and check whether it's been given to us or not permission sets from the quick finder then search for the code builder if it is there yes it's there this one and then click on manage assignments right now we haven't given access to anybody so let's add the assignments and i'll give this to myself if you want to give access to anybody else you can do that as well when I hit save, I hit the checkbox before hitting save. Now you can see Nikhil Karkara has access to the code builder. So now let's go back and refresh this. Because the time we hit on create environment, we might not have permissions. So let's wait. As I already mentioned, it is in beta stage. So it is taking a lot of time to set up the environment for me for the first time it took 35 minutes to set up the environment so we'll not wait for this i'll go to my next org where i already installed i'll show you there how i how the screen will look like after the environment is ready so in my another org i already set up this one so once that environment is ready you will see a launch option and here you just notice this time is running expiry date is there and some stuffs are there we'll come to this at the end of the our code builders video just to show or uh, explain you what this time means what are the limitation but for now once your environment is ready it's it will take time and don't worry if it's taking more than 30 minutes for me it took 35 minutes but once it's ready you will see a launch option so once you click on the launch option it will start up your code builder and this code builder will show you the exact project that you set up in our case it was a brand new project and it was of a standard pro uh, project type so finally our code builder has launched successfully you will see a welcome message to a code builder and it exactly a vs code similarly here you can see your folder structure of your project the exact same structure for SAP, you will see LWC, Aura, layouts, objects, permission, all, all stuff here. The same search icon is on the left. You can initialize your repository from Git, GitLab, anywhere. Apart from that, you can install the extensions. You can do the testing stuff, code builders, related some information, resource panel. If you don't know how to use that, you can run a query from the query builder and browser org to fetch the metadata we'll, we'll see this one it's a pretty cool stuff and at the same time at the bottom you can see terminal debug console output and all the salesforce extension has been installed by default so the first stuff we always do when we set up the project we will go and authorize an org and for that what we're gonna do command shift p and you'll see type authorize an org and if you say authorize an org it will ask the over type of org project default production sandbox custom you can say project default it will ask you, uh, you to give the alias name so i'll give the alias name as salesforce group 
it's always good to give the small name well this first group is my alias name hit enter it will open a new tab it will ask for a digit app device hit connect whatever comes randomly use that say allow continue app is connected now and now let's go back to our code builder now our app is connected here uh, so basically we have authorized now let's change the org so you can click on this small icon because i was having the same name for the same org so it is taking the previous name i was giving troop but in your case it will be salesforce troop here as you see troop comma salesforce troop so i already authorized it now what we're gonna do if you want to make sure it's pointing to the correct one you can click on this small icon to open an org so once you click on this icon it will open the org to which your code builder is connected that's the best way to make sure you are connected to the right org so i already shown you how to authorize an org let's create an lwc component again we'll go to command palette and type lightning create lightning web component we'll give this name as code builder demo hit enter take the default path for that i hit enter now you see it created a class code builder i just want to zoom it little bit possible yes and now here let's add some html and in this case i'll say i'll create a lightning card and you see it's all auto suggestions are coming by default we didn't install anything specific in the extension it's already installed i'll give the title code builder demo and inside that i'll give the p tag and say hello or we'll say something for a by first component using code builder okay so now it's ready and now the most important part and that we already know when we deploy the component we have to make sure our component is exposed and it's exposed to the right targets so we'll add targets and under the target we'll define target lightning apps you see how quickly it's populating everything and similarly we can do it for app page and home page both based on your page name you can add the target so i'm just exposing this component only for two pages app page and home page now as i know it's already pointing to the troop org i'll do right click deploy source to org and it's running the command to deploy that you can do this using terminal as well using sftx source force push that command is there and now i'll come to my org and let's open an app sales app let's place our component the sales app and i'll go to gear icon say edit page and on the search you can search for a co component name or you can simply scroll down and you can see code builder demo that's our component name so i'll drag that component to the right side column and i hit save i just activate it i'll say app default sign to app and that's the sales app i assume and let's save save hit save once again and let's go back if we have assigned it to right app we will see that component here now you can see our component is working fine if you want to give some styling you can do as well and you can give to your class here slds padding around 
medium and it is saying just use var with this class name you can see it's populating now around medium is giving 16 pixel padding around the text so let's deploy this again so it's pretty smooth as of now and i'm really enjoying this code builder and it's in real time it's more helpful when on the fly you don't have on the fly you want to do some changes but you don't have vs code ready or your machine is not performing well you can simply come to code builder and do that change so now i refresh the page you see now it's aligned properly stylings are working fine components are getting deployed other step that we do in real time is we try to pull down the code or retrieve the code and here in this case we can use again the command sfdf force retrieve one or we have a very cool stuff here called org browser we can refresh this org browser it will get the latest copy of the metadata into a cache and here from there we can download it just to see a reference what we can do is we'll look for layouts okay let's see a layout and before that i'll go to my project folder structure and under the layouts there is nothing it's empty now let's try to retrieve some layouts once i click on layouts it will show me all the layouts available in the org and for the demo purpose let's try to retrieve the case case layout select the layout that you want to retrieve and you will see an option of a cloud download and on hover you will see a message retrieve source from org let's hit this and it run the retrieve command for us and now if i go to the folder structure refresh the folder and you see in the layout the layout is ready so now you see how easy it is to retrieve the code using org browser and most of this stuff you can do easily in the code builder as of now so that's all about like how we gonna set up and use the code builder now let's talk about the limitations that we have with the code builder so there are few things to remember when using the code builder for the beta usage a salesforce has given us the 20 hour usage for maximum 30 days so if you see now when we come to our code builder app on the top there is time is running 18 hours 25 minutes remaining so this is the total time remaining for you to use the code builder for that month for 30 days and that's uh, the idea is i assume for the beta version so that they can test out all the stuff that has some limitation to fix that one and also primarily use code builder for now just for the you want to do something on the fly not for heavy usage as of now but maybe in future it will be gone away this usage limit and the second things to remember is salesforce highly recommend us to save our work because there may be a good chance like you are, are uh, continuously using the code builder but at one point of time you forgot to push your code and then once you come back you know your limit is over and your you will lose your code so that's why it's always good practice to always push your code to your org the third point to remember uh, function development is only available for javascript and typescript function as of now and the last one like in vs code we were using the lwc local development for previewing the co uh, components locally that is not available for our code builder so these are the limitations that we have right now with the code builder rest all are working fine and smoothly we already seen so that's all for this salesforce code builder video and i hope you like uh, this video as well as the salesforce code builder that they have launched i will share the links of the app exchange and the trailhead for you guys to explore more about it and happy to hear from you guys Thank you. Have a lovely day.